maybe gazing down just a few inches in front of your knees. Deepening your breath as you inhale in through your nose. As your breath smooths, it's dropping into your awareness. Awareness of your breath. of your body as it sits. Awareness of your mind, of your thoughts. And awareness of your emotions. And your awareness of your ability of choice. Coming into your halfway lift, 
You're all moving that chair, so we'll exhale, bend the knees, lowering the hips. Bring the hands up over our head. Just one breath here. Coming to a stand as we inhale. Exhaling, hands to side. And arms up overhead. Little back bend, just a little back bend. Cactusing your elbows. Lift the heart. Straightening up, hands reach up for the sky. Get a little bend in the knees as we fold, keeping your thighs firm. Halfway lift. And again, we'll move into our chair, bending the knees, lowering the hips, hands up overhead. Holding here again for a breath. And we'll fold as we exhale. And halfway lift. Leaning towards our toes, our left foot steps back into our lunge. And we'll bring the left knee, top of the left foot to the mat. And then bring your hands up overhead as you went. Lifting the heart. Exhaling your hands back to the mat. And slowly start to straighten the front leg, lifting the heart. Exhale and fold. And we'll bend our front knee. Let's curl the back toes under, straighten the back leg. Bring both hands on the inside edge of the front foot, and we'll walk our hands over to the back, moving the whole torso through the left, all the way around to the back of your mat. And we'll step back into our plank. And from plank into our down dog, lifting the hips, dropping the heart towards the earth. Here we're gonna roll into a modified upper dog, hug the tail, rounding out your back like cat, lowering your hips, coming into your upper dog. And then we'll bend the knees, bring the chest towards the thighs, lifting the tailbone, coming into your down dog. And again, rolling into upper dog. And bending knee, chest towards the thigh, lifting the tailbone into your down dog. Here we'll roll into a plank. Modified chaturanga, bringing your knees to the mat, keeping your hips up high. Shoulders come forward, lowering your shoulders no lower than your elbows. Rolling up your upper dog, firming the thighs, maybe the knees come up off the mat. Rolling over your toes into your down dog. And we'll baby step our feet all the way to what is now the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Excellent full. Again, we'll come into our chair, bending the knees, lowering the hips. Hands up overhead, taking a breath. And we'll exhale in full, straightening the legs. Halfway lift, lengthening through your spine. Leaning towards your toes this time, the right foot steps back into our lunge. Bringing the right knee to the mat. Top of the right foot to the mat. Hands up overhead as we inhale. Exhaling your hands to the mat. Slowly start to straighten your front leg. Lift heart. Exhale and fold. You know, bend the front knee. Curling the back toes under. Straightening the back leg. Both hands on the inside edge of the foot. Walking all the way around to the right, to the front of your mat. Stepping back into our plank. Either half chaturanga with the knees to the mat or full chaturanga, legs firm. Rolling up upper dog, lifting the heart, rolling shoulders back, exhaling into your downward dog. And three, Ujjayi breath. Again, we'll baby step the feet all the way up to the hands. Halfway lift, roll your hip bones forward, a little arch in your low back as you lengthen through your spine, and then exhale and fold. Again, bend our knees, lowering the hips, coming up into our chair. Throw bring the palms together, we'll twist to the right, left elbow to your right knee. There's a tendency for the left knee to come out in front. Maybe looking at the knees, if it is, pull the left knee back, right knee forward to square up your hips. And then we'll exhale and fold, straightening your legs. Halfway lift. And again, coming into our chair, exhale, bend the knees, lowering the hips. And then inhale, hands up overhead. 
and twisting to your left. Get the tailbone, crown of the head, reach in opposite directions. Also helps to line up the hips. Stay in chair, hands up overhead. Slowly stay. Exhale, hands to the heart. And bringing your hands aside. Hands up overhead as we in. Again, a little back bend. Lift the heart as you start to reach back. Use your core to pull yourself back up. Micro bending the knees as we fold. Halfway lift, lengthening through your spine. Get to roll hip bones forward. Leaning towards your toes again, stepping back with our left foot. Into a high lunge this time. Hands up overhead. Exhale your hands to the mat. Slowly start to straighten your front leg as much as you're comfortable with, and then exhale forehead towards your shin. And bending the front knee, hands up overhead. Slowly start to straighten your front leg, pivot your toes to the left. We'll come into warrior two on the left. So the left foot faces the back of your mat. And we'll exhale, hands to the mat. Straightening the front leg again, lifting the heart. Exhale and fold. Bending our front knee, stepping back into our plank, and breathing through vinyasa chaturanga, slowly down, roll up, upward dog. Exhaling into your downward dog. Stepping forward with our right foot, we'll move straight into warrior two, angling the back heel to the center of the mat, left hand reaches, arches up towards the sky, up to warrior two. Straightening your front leg, pivoting your Right toes to the left. Michael bending the knees. Feet rooted into the earth. Exhale and fold. We'll just fold for one breath. Inhale, come right back up. Warrior two on our left. Exhale, your hands to the mat. Then again, we'll straighten our front leg, lift heart. Exhale and fold. Bending your front knees, stepping back into your plank. Again, breathing through vinyasa, chaturanga, rolling up, up, dog, and exhaling into your downward dog. Again, baby, step the feet all the way up to the hands. Halfway lift. Excellent, fold. Again, coming into our chair, bend knees, hands up overhead. Palms together, we'll twist to the right. Maybe even a little deeper if you like, you can open up the hands, eventually left hand to the mat on the opposite edge of the foot, tie your left arm on the opposite edge of your right shin. Hands up overhead, stay in chin. And twisting to our left. Again, maybe opening up your hand, hands. And hands together, hands up overhead as we inhale, stay in chin, and then stay. Get arms up overhead as we are moving into our back bend, firming inside edge of the thighs. Lift the heart. Slowly straightening back up. Micro bend in these fingertips. Continue to reach for the sky as we form. Halfway lift. Leaning towards your toes, stepping back with our right foot into our high lunge. Feet rooted into the earth, firming thighs, hands up. Exhaling, hands back to your mat. Straightening your front leg. Pull the left hip back as you lengthen through your spine and fold. Bending the knee, hands up overhead, high lunge. Straighten your front leg, pivoting your toes to the right. Moving into warrior two on our right. Exhale, your hands to the mat. Straighten your front leg. Exhale and fold, spine just rolls down on top of the right thigh. Simple as that. Bending the front knee, stepping back into our flank, breathing through vinyasa chaturanga. Roll up, up, dog. Exhale into your down. Stepping forward with our left foot. 
Into warrior two, angle back, heel, center back. Right arm reaches, circles up. Straighten your front leg, pivoting your toes to the right. And again, we will hold. Mike, bend the knees, feet rooted into the earth. Pull the feet towards each other as you fold. Then inhale into your halfway lift. We're going to plant the right hand directly underneath your nose. Left hand reaches for the sky, twisting your torso to the left. Firming your thighs in, gently rotate the thighs up and square up your hips. Left hand to the mat. Right hand reach. Right hand to the mat. Inhale, lengthen through spine, then bend, exhale, and fold. One inhale as you come all the way up, Michael bend in the knee. Coming into a warrior two on our right. Exhale your hands to your mat. Straighten your front leg, pull the right hip back as you lay them through your spine. And then exhale, spine rolls down on top of the right thigh. Bending your front knee. Stepping back into your plank. And then breathing through vinyasa. Again, remember, you can always come down with the knees to the mat into half chaturanga. And then exhaling into your downward dog. Stay here in Downward Dog for a few breaths, or if you'd like to practice a few tuck-ups, make sure we don't have a water bottle right in front of you, otherwise you may go crashing down on your water bottle, and that does not feel nice. Yeah. And you can either baby step your feet up to your hands, or float up into your tuck-up, and slowly land feet between your hands. Halfway lift. Exhale and fold. The mic up under the knees, coming up with a flat back, hands up overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart. Bring hands to side. Hands up overhead as we inhale. Get our back bend. Lift your heart up towards the sky as the shoulders fall back to the earth. Anything on your shoulders is where they drop off to the earth as the heart reaches for the sky. Using your core to pull yourself back up. I am a poet. Exhale and fold. Halfway lift, lengthening through your spine. Plant the hands directly underneath your shoulders as you're halfway lift. Start to lean forward, bring a lot of weight to your hands. Just be careful of your wrists. If you feel ready, lift up the hips as you float back. Chatter by the chest down and forward. Rolling up upper dog or again, you can of course step back into your plank and breathe through vinyasa. And we will meet in our down dog. Lifting our right leg up towards the sky. Shifting your shoulders forward into plank. Shoulders right above your fingertips. Lowering your left hip down a little bit lower. Total plank with the left leg. And warrior one on our right. Arms float up overhead with your right. Open your hips into warrior two. Most important here, you can see your big toe on the inside edge of the knee as the foot points straight ahead. Inhale, start to reach forward, arch up towards the sky, reach for the stars, exhale, fold, continue, or back bend, um, reverse warrior, reverse warrior, right knee continues to reach forward, bending into the front knee, coming back up to warrior two, here we'll move into triangle, start to straighten the front leg, keep a micro bend in the knee, reach forward with the right hand, you can bring your right hand either to your lower shin, to your foot, or on your mat on the outside edge of your foot. Maybe continue looking back at your left hand. Keep a micro bend in the front knee as you inhale. Come up. Left hand down, right hand up. Step the back foot forward an inch and off to the left about an inch so we can square the hips up to the front of the mat. Twist your torso to the right, looking back at your right hand. Keeping a micro bend in the front knee. Reach forward with the left hand. Keep looking back at the right. Exhale your left hand. Wherever it's gonna go. Pull the right hip back to length of your spine and twist. Keeping a 
Mind will bend in the front knee, maybe looking back at the right hand as you inhale them all the way back up, focusing in on your center. Both hands up overhead. Arch your low back, lift your heart. Thinking back bend as we start to fold forward. And Michael bend in the front knee, front thigh firm. Bend in the front knee, we'll inhale, come all the way back up, hands up overhead. Pivoting the front toes to the left, twist your torso to the left. The feet, the toes point out just to touch, heels in, and we'll come into a horse stance, hands to heart, hips are about knee height. We'll shift the hips over towards the left, maybe lowering the hips down as much as you're comfortable with. Coming back up to center and to the right, lowering your hips as much as you're comfortable with, eventually all the way down to the heel. From here to warrior two on our left, left toes face the back of the mat. Remember to kick the right heel that way. And we'll inhale, reach forward, come straight into a reverse warrior reaching out. Back up to warrior two, exhaling your hands to your mat. Straightening your front leg, lift your heart, and pull the left hip back as you're letting you through your spine. Spine rolls down on top of the left leg. Halfway your left, maybe step your front foot back about a foot and a half. If you like to practice a few handstand switches, the right leg swings up three times. And then the leg that swings up will also be the leg that lands. Or, of course, you can step straight back into your plank, breathing through vinyasa, or straight into your down dog. If you're practicing your handstands, you like to do handstand chaturanga. Chest comes down and forward, landing with one foot, then the next, remembering to pull the toes back so you don't land right on the tips of your toes. That is not nice. And stepping forward with our right foot in two, warrior two. Left hand reaches up towards the sky, coming straight into reverse warrior, reaching back. Back up to our warrior two, we'll straighten the front leg, pivoting your toes to the left, hands up overhead, hands to heart as you come into horse stance, so again, toes out, just a touch. Shifting your hips to the left, maybe hips come down a little bit deeper, working on skandasana, crown of the head pulls you back up to center, and hips to your right. Left toes face the front of the mat. Keep the knees pressing out wide as we transition into warrior two and straight into a first warrior. Reaching back. Back up to our warrior two. Exhaling your hands to the mat. Straighten the front leg, lift the heart. Exhale and fold. Where you lift again, you need to step back into a plank or if you like to practice handstands again, the right leg swings up. The leg that swings will be the one that also lands. And we will all meet in our downward dog. However, you get there. Towards the sky, again, shifting your shoulders forward into the plank, shoulders right above the fingertips, lowering the right hip down a little bit more, and moving into our warrior one on our left. Feet are grabbing onto the earth, pull the feet towards each other, gathering all the energy right into your hips. Lift up out of the hips as you exhale. Warrior two. Reaches forward, arches up towards the skies and circles back into reverse warrior. Continue bending into the front knee, left knee reaches towards the front as you arch back. Back up toward warrior two. 
Start to straighten the front leg. Keep your Michael bend in the front knee as you inhale, reach with left hand. Left hand either to your lower shin, to your foot, or on the floor on the outside edge of your foot. Right hip, reach for the sky. Your Michael bend in your left knee as you inhale, come all the way back up. Right hand down, left hand up. Stepping the back foot forward and off to the right, about an inch, so a little bit wider of the stance. Twist your torso to the left, maybe even looking back at your left hand. Michael bend in the front knee as you inhale, reach. Right hand eventually to the outside edge of your front foot. And pulling the left hip back as you lengthen through your spine. Maybe continue looking back at your left hand, keeping a micro bend in the front knee as we inhale, come all the way back up, both hands up overhead. You can lift the heart, little arch of the low back, making back bend as you fold forward. Micro bend in front knee. Toes to the right, and again moving into horse stance. This time let's come up and do a little bit higher of a horse stance. And we'll fold the torso forward like so. I'm going to face this way so you guys can kind of see, hands out in front. And then we'll lead with the tailbone, the tailbone reach off to the right, hands kind of swing off to the left, and then tailbone to the left. Arms kind of swing to the right. Just kind of feel the spine and the length of the arms almost like a rope as you kind of swing back and forth. Leading with the tailbone, rounding out the spine. Yeah. Hands up a little bit higher. Nice. And then once we come over to the left, we'll pivot the right toes to the back of the mat. And coming into a warrior two. That was fun and beautiful. You guys looked awesome. Excellent hands to the mat. Start to straighten the front leg, lift the heart. Exhale and fold. Thank you. Inhaling halfway lift. And again, step the front foot back about a foot and a half. It goes straight back to the plank, breathing through vinyasa, straight into your down dog, or if you like to practice a few handstand switches, left leg swings up. Remember, you keep the left leg totally straight, the toes reach up for the sky, left leg pulls you up into your handstand, and breathing through vinyasa, elbows in, chest forward and down. Two, warrior two. Right arm circles up. We do reverse warrior. I think we did reverse warrior. Left arm reaches back. Coming back up to warrior two. Start to straighten the front leg, pivoting the toes to the right. Hands together at heart. Let's move into skandasana on the left. So we'll start to sit down all the way down towards your left heel. Arms out to it. Right toes face the front of the mat. Press the knees out wide as we start the transition. Straight into a reverse warrior, remembering to kick the left heel towards the back of your mat. Back up warrior two, bring your hands to the mat. And again, straighten the front leg. Exhale, the spine rolls down on top of the right. Step back into your plank, or if you like to practice handstands on the other side of your mat, you know what to do. Have some fun. It's all about having fun. If you're not having fun, then I don't know. Maybe you're not doing yoga right. <laughs> Did I just say that? What? Baby step your feet to 
your hands, or spring up into your tuck up and slowly land your feet between your hands. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Coming up with a flat back, hands up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Bring your hands. Bring the feet about hip width. Get arms up overhead as you in. Little back bend, lift your heart towards the sky. Shoulders fall back to the earth. All attention on your shoulders fall to the earth. Using core to pull yourself back up. Yogi squat, malasana, bend the knees. Sitting down towards the heels. Arms on the inside of the knees. Knees kind of squeeze in towards the arms as the arms kind of press out. And we'll move in a crane if you like. So eventually you want to bring the knees high up into the arm right on, on the back side of the shoulder. Lift your hips up high. So just straight the arms as much as you're comfortable with and either step back or float back into Chaturanga. Stendasana on the right. And straight into reverse warrior on our left. Toes face the back of the mat. Reaching forward. Exhale, reverse. And again, the right heel kicks towards the front of your mat. Coming back up to warrior two. Exhaling your hands to the mat. Straighten the front leg. Exhale and fold. Bend the front knee, stepping back into your plank. Option for the left leg lift. You can chaturanga switch if you like. Breathing through the yeah. And we'll step forward with our right foot into a high lunge, hands up overhead. And from here to airplane, such so a shift forward. Lift up the left leg first and then standing up on the right. Allow the left hip to lower, squaring up your hips. Using the left foot to pull the leg up a little bit higher. Lift the heart, arch the back, thinking back bend. Fingertips reach. Coming up into king dancer, reach left leg, continues to reach for the sky as you come up to a stand, hands up overhead. Left toes reach up towards the sky, fingertips reach back for foot. Feeling the muscles right along your spine, engage. Coming up into start, lifting the left knee up high. First two fingers of the left hand wrap around your big toe, or you can grab right behind underneath the knee, and then slowly start to straighten the leg. And even you even have a little bit of a round back, that's totally fine here too, but we do eventually want to straighten up. Open the out to the left. Foot back in front. Releasing your grip, hands up overhead. Back into our warrior three. 
Left leg comes all the way back as you fold. Left leg reaches up for the sky as we squat down on the right leg, stepping way back into a lunge. Right arm comes down, twisting torso to the right. Continue windmilling the hands, right hand up, left hand down. Pivot your toes to the left as you come into Skandasana on the right. Reverse warrior on our left, toes face the front of the mat first. Pressing the knees out wide, reverse warrior. Back up warrior two, hands to mat, straightening the front leg, and fold. Bending front knee, stepping back into your plank, breathing through vinyasa, and we will meet in our down dog. Down dog, or if you like to practice a few tuck ups, just bring up off your feet. Tailbone the range, up towards the sky, a little bit overhead, a little arch in the low back. And back to our down dog. And here we'll practice floating into crane yarn balance that we just did. So, it sounds crazy, and it is, but when you first start, it's actually quite easy. So most important is that we land the elbows bent a little bit, kind of jump up into your tuck up and just land your feet and your knees on the outside edge of your arms. And then once you land your feet and knees on the outside edge of your arms, then start to come into your crane. And whenever you're ready, either stepping back or floating back, breathing through vinyasa and meeting in our down dog. And we will move into warrior one on our left. Hands float up overhead. And coming into warrior two, open the arms. Reaching forward. And coming into reverse, left knee continues to reach towards the front of your mat. Back up to warrior two. Keeping the torso up as you wing all the hands, left hand up, or down, right hand up. Coming up onto your right toes. Twist your torso to the left. Maybe the left hand reaches back through your right heel. Looking up out of the hips as the right arm arches back. Towards the sky. And then you can bring the right elbow to the left knee, palms together at heart. up the hands, right hand to the mat on the outside edge of your foot, or to your body, left arm behind your back, right hand grabbing your left wrist. Hands together at heart. Inhale, reaching forward, leading with the fingertips, arch up. Start to straighten the front leg, pivoting the toes to the right, and skandasana on our left. Straight into a verse warrior on the right. Back up to your warrior two. Excellent hands to your mat. Start to straighten your front leg, lift hard. And exhale and fold. Bending your front knee, stepping back into your plank. Option for the right leg to lift. Try to run it down, maybe switching the feet. Upward dog and exhaling into your down. Moving into our high lunge on our left. Left foot steps forward, arms float up overhead. And into our airplane, folding forward. Lifting up the right leg first and then standing up on your left. Right hip lowers, using the glute to pull the leg up a little higher. Arch in the back, lift the heart. And keep dance or reach, right toes reach up to the sky, so come up to a stand, hands up overhead. And then the fingers start to reach for the toes, toes reach up towards the hands. Coming up into our stork, 
First two fingers with the right hand, wrap around big toe. And again, you can grab underneath the leg. We're having a little bit of a round in the back is fine. As long as we are working on standing tall. Opening out to the right. Bring your foot back in front. Releasing your grip. Moving back into warrior three. Right leg swings down and back as before. Raising through your fingertips. Right leg lifts up high as you squat down. Left leg stepping back into your high lunge. Left arm down, windowing to the left. Left hand up, right hand down. Skandasana on the left. And straight into reverse warrior on our right. Excellent. Hands to neck. Start to straighten your front leg. Excellent. And fold. Bending your front knee, stepping back into your plank. Breathing through vinyasa, and we will all meet in our down. Down to the mat, 
pivot the shoulders to face the front of the mat. You can either move into Galavasana or step straight back into your plank. Breathing through vinyasa and we will be in our down dog. Top of the mat, feet on the outside edge of the hands, knees on the outside edge of the arms, and again we're moving to crank and working on Hekapada Vakasana. So one cool little trick for Hekapada Vakasana to make it a little bit easier, if you can lift the left leg up towards the sky, you can come up here, plant your right foot to the mat as you lift up the left leg, start to lean forward, left leg reaches for the sky, and then pick up the right foot. And either step or float back into Chaturanga. Breathing through Vinyasa. And a high lunge on our left. Hands float up overhead as you win. Left arm down, one million to the left. Left hand up, right hand down. Sundasana on the left. Straight into your reverse warrior. Reaching back. And into your half moon. And right hand to the top of the mat, underneath the shoulder. Left hip reaches for the sky. And again, the left hand can reach back to the inside edge of your foot, externally rotating shoulder. And both hands to the mat with your knees together. Keep your knees together. Baby step back on left foot. Halfway lift. We've been stepping back into the lunge. Hands up overhead. Getting a little help from a friend. Exhale, hands to the mat. Straight and stepping back into your plank. Breaking through Vinyasa. And stepping forward with our left foot. For a lunge. Yeah. Um, left arm down, twisting torso to the left. Left hand up, right hand down, skandasana on the left. And then he'll come standing up on the right leg, getting the toes pivot to face the side of your mat. Left ankle hooks behind the right knee. Squatting down, left arm reach overhead. Coming up to a stand. Left foot reaches out towards the back of your mat. And then he'll bring the left ankle above the right knee. Squatting down, figure four, hands together at heart. And then you maybe bring the hands to the mat if that feels okay on your knee and hip. And either stepping back into your plank, breathing through vinyasa, or moving into jalabhasana. And either step or float, chaturanga, breathing through vinyasa, and we will all be in our down. Big step forward with our right foot. And then bring the left knee, top of the left foot to the mat. Slowly start to straighten the front leg, shifting the hips back. And then exhale, we'll fold into half split. Button move in the full splits, using our hands for support as you inch your right foot out in front. And be careful as you slowly come down. Left hip comes down towards the mat. 
Lifting your heart and then exhale, lengthen through your spine as you fold. Come 
that. And she'll wipe her knees side to side or hug your knees and forge your chest. Back bend, so you're going to either move into bridge, the one we just did, or full back bend with the hands behind the shoulders, fingertips face feet. Engage in the shoulders, press the feet in the mat, lift up the hips, push the hands in the mat, straightening arms. Then here, maybe sort of straighten your legs as much as you're comfortable with to bring the heart towards the back of your mat. Careful of the shoulders, bring more of a stretch in your shoulders and the thoracic, your upper spine. You're ready, chin towards your throat as you slowly come down. Bring your spine a moment to settle. And you can either windshield wipe your knees side to side or hug your knees in towards your chest. And again, we'll move into another back bend, so either bridge or fold back bend with your hands behind your shoulders. Maybe walk your feet a little closer to your hands or your hands closer to your feet. Let's lift the right knee up towards the sky and then straighten the right leg so the toes reach up. And bring the right foot back down and left knee up. Start to straighten the left leg, toes reach up high. And left foot back down. And slowly coming down, chin towards the foot. Giving your spine a moment to settle. The windshield wipe her knees. Or hug your knees and towards your chest. Chest. Move in 
do Shavasana from here. The legs out straight. Arms on the side of the body, palms facing up. Just allowing the body to fully relax. Allowing your breath to come back to a natural state. Again, dropping into your awareness of your body, of your breath, of your thoughts, of your emotions. Just allow them to all completely and fully relax. Here for about five minutes. Go ahead and pull your out of the
for a Model. 